like you touched on the FUBU radio, y'all did the clothing, y'all did the music. Um, do you have any other upcoming projects? Have y'all considered doing a movie about your life, a documentary or a book yeah, or anything? We're, we're working on right now. We're talking to some people about a documentary. It's like, it's funny because it feels like people, when you talk about our documentary to people, it's not really, you know, exciting enough for them to take on. And we're like, bro, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that happened. We come from four different backgrounds and it's a, it's a lot of juice in there, bro. Like you don't understand, like, you know, don't get it twisted and think we was just four kids that, you know, just had this bright lifestyle. And then we just came in and started doing clothing and then hit it. Nah, it wasn't like that. We had some real, you know, craziness going on. Even when we got on, you know, it was a point where Cash was on some, um, you know, extortion. You know what I'm saying? They try to extort us and, you know, rob us all the time and stuff like that. And, you know, we we wasn't having it. You know what I'm saying? We had security, and, um, you know, but it was it was a lot of stress behind the scenes. And we just, but every time everybody else seen us, we were smiling and like, you know what I'm saying? And so they didn't really know. So now when we sit down with people and kind of tell them all the all the pitfalls that we had, they're like, yo, this story is dope. Like, nobody has picked this up. So we're talking right now to some some influential people to help us get this off the ground. I've been working on just gathering footage now. All the footage that we have from back in the days, I've been just gathering the footage now to to, to include in the documentary. And then I, I see probably within the next year or so uh, that should be out. Um, so that's kind of the major thing that we're working on right now. Oh, okay, man. That'd be dope for real because y'all got a very unique story. I mean, you hear about, you know, like the rap stories or people making it to the NBA or the NFL all the time. But, you know, four young brothers starting a fashion company that goes global for black people. That's a one on one. It's uh, it's deep, man. It's deep. Like I said, a lot of people don't uh, they, they don't really think about it like that. They think it's, you know, oh, you guys were in the fashion industry and it was all, you know, you just guys just made it one nah man it was a lot of a lot of pitfalls man a lot of a lot of stuff that happened behind the scenes that you know if people seen us you know even when i show I showed somebody the other other day i showed my guy the um the 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 trailer that we did for the last documentary we was trying to put it together um and he was like yo this is dope bro like when y'all putting this out i said this is actually an old trailer now we got more stuff to put together and and and, and remix this trailer so um i think people are gonna be very surprised when it comes out oh okay man i definitely uh look forward to that and you know all of the other ventures that you got going on uh for the viewers definitely tune in check out fubu radio um, I want to thank you again, King. It's truly an honor. I truly appreciate you taking out the time to come on the platform. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in. It's been another episode of Taye Speaks. So until next time, family, peace. Peace.